In this video, we shall discuss some of the applications of Taylor series in finance. We will begin with basics and then highlight how this technique is used in fixed income risk analysis and options pricing. Wikipedia says Taylor series is a representation of a function as an infinite sum of terms. Here is an example where sine of x is represented as a sum of other terms. Let us try to approximate. In other words, recreate a sine function by adding series of terms. Up to three terms. Taylor series expansion is used to relate sensitivities to profit and loss for financial instruments. For a function of one variable f of x, Taylor series formula is as follows. I find it useful to visualize the Taylor's formula as a tree diagram. Each edge is a derivative of a function with respect to x weighted by delta of x. First term of the Taylor's formula is the path until level 1. Second term of the formula is multiple of the terms along the edges until you reach level 2. In this example, we shall use Taylor's formula to relate sensitivities such as convexity of a bond to bond profit and loss. Profit and loss, PNL, is on the left side of the equation here. Similar formula holds for function of several variables. When I saw this first, I could not understand much but I have a trick that I want to share with you let's begin with quick recall of factors that influence options price options price depends on the underlying price volatility and time to expiry profit and loss is before and after price difference Let's recall that our goal is to use Taylor series to approximate options profit and loss. Step 1. Lay out your dependent variable at the top as root node and factors as leaf nodes. On each edge, add a partial of root with respect to the leaf node weighted by delta of the leaf node. get second order terms branch out further from the leaf nodes to get partials on the path from root node to the second level nodes just multiply partials along the path note that we have kept only one second order term while ignoring others Now the last step, we add up terms along all the chosen paths. Hence we have used Taylor's approximation to estimate options profit and loss. Sensitivities and options PNL are shown below. That's it for today. If you have interest in such math, stats or data science videos in general, please drop in a line in the comments section below.